So Isabel Allende is really known and loved for her dense um, stories that, that cross uh, periods of history and continents and intergenerational relationships. And usually they're really dense and they take a long time to read, but her newest novel, The Japanese Lover, is actually quite a short story that sacrifices none of her great writing. It's the story of a woman, uh, Alma, who you meet later in life. She had been uh, a refugee in uh, after World War II from Poland and she came to the States. And you meet her when she is in a retirement nursing home. And the entire book is all about the choices that she has made in her relationships, um, some really interesting characters um, who have been with her all her life. And, and, and for this particular uh, woman, her character, her freedom, her artistic development, and her spunk have all been somewhat constrained by the, the dictates of the time and so have impacted the choices that she's made. I think for me what made this book so particularly special, aside from the writing of, of Isabel Allende, who, who I love, she's one of my favorite authors, is the development of the character and the fact that it gives a different insight into older people, especially the people that you meet through who are in the home. Um, I think this is a book I'm going to come back to later in life when I'm a little older myself because I so enjoyed the way uh, age was portrayed. Um, so we all have choices. Fate plays a part. This is a really, really interesting little glimpse at a family and their dynamics.